This is Gus. He looks happy, but he doesn't always been like that. He was affected by Gus. He is always being good at look on the internet about new cameras for him. This is a great deal! And this camera is so good for me! Or for his friends photographers. Hey, can you please buy for me a camera there in Japan and send to me? Yes? But sometimes his choices were a little bit off. It's okay, I will repair it. But to become happy, Gus has to fight his Gus. The first step was to list up how to fight this syndrome. Gus decided to start selling online the cameras he doesn't need, in order to finance what he wants to buy. Gus, look at what other photographers do with the cameras he already owned and decide to challenge himself. Gus uses internet sites that allows to cancel the purchase easily. Gus decided to use only one camera for a whole month. You are not alone fighting against Gus. If Gus did it, you can do it too. Thank you for watching this short movie about Gus. Despite not fully healed, after reaching almost 100 cameras, I noticed that at the end that there wasn't so much benefit in hoarding cameras after cameras. Luckily, in my case, I was focusing in the past on film cameras before the price starts skyrocketing. And despite the couple that I still want, but that are absolutely out of my budget, I decided to rationally start selling what I think doesn't have any special value or meaning for me. This approach helped me to balance the cameras I wanted and the cameras I owned. But more than that, I changed my approach on it's not the camera that makes the photo but is my way as a photographer to be able to catch the moment. So I try to slow down and focus more on the outcome than the tool itself. So far, it seems it's working. It is not easy at all, and the pleasure of purchase is still strong, but it's important to try to see the problem from a different perspective. Why is really needed? why I can't do the same outcome without it. But also, what are the other things that I like or need that I can buy with the same amount of money? For me, trying to focus on different items or giving me a week or two to do my research helped to reduce the impellent need of buying a new gear. Try it. Try to set up a budget for each month and reduce it month by month. At the end, price yourself with purchase is something good and justify your success and effort in your day-to-day -day life, but still being aware of gas is the first step to control it and don't be affected by it. As mentioned at the end of the video, you are not alone. If you want to talk about it, if you want to share your experience, use the comment space below. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay click. Bye.